Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about Wayne Bridge Oscillator. Guys, this is one of the most important and easiest among all the three oscillators that we have discussed up to now, guys. This is really, really easy. So, let us go through it right now. So, basically, the circuit diagram is right in front of you, guys. It's really, really clear. So, here we are having a bridge type structure and we are in this, we will not be having any tank circuit, guys will be having two CE amplifiers. First one will be making 180 and the second one will be making another 180. So that at the end we are going to get 360 degrees phase shift. Fine? Okay. Now I hope everyone is now clear with the diagram. Guys, whatever you may draw in these places, that's fine guys. But don't draw mistakes in this bridge guys because the most of the paper evaluators will be checking the bridge mainly. Because that's the main place where everything happens. So basically here we are having one capacitor, one resistor series, parallel, only a single resistor, only a single resistor. That's it. Okay. So we'll be analyzing the whole circuit or the equations only by using these two guys, this series and this parallel. Those will be the main key role of Wayne die, sorry, Wayne bridge oscillator. Okay. So basically we got two to three points i think only two guys these are really less points for this topic so from each npn transistor we get 180 degrees so from both we're gonna get 360 degrees phase shift is obtained r3 and r4 are voltage dividers guys r3 and r4 are voltage dividers fine and c1 r1 c2 r2 are lead lag network so this is the most main important network in this Diagram. So we are almostly having 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 resistors guys we are having in this diagram. Oh my god. For each amplifier we are having 3 and 4. So here 4. Yeah, we can remember this really easily guys. Okay. If you want any diagram, remem diagram memorizing tricks, comment down below guys. I'll be uploading a video if possible. To help you guys in memorizing few diagrams okay we, we, this diagram is really easy it's really similar see for this amplifier we are having three for this we are having four for this we are having one capacitor for this we are having one capacitor these cc's are nothing but coupling capacitor guys i hope everyone knows that okay and q1 and q2 are the amplifier symbols okay okay and these two are the new things R3 and R4 are the voltage divider and these four C1, R1, C2, R2 are the lead lag networks. So now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with the diagram. So now let us go with a proof. That's it. That's what we all do. So we all know C1 and C2 are capacitors. Yeah, that's true. And if we apply voltage division rule guys, that's one of the most important rule in basic electronics that is B double E okay okay in that we have just learned this guys so basically VF is equals to V naught into ZP by ZS plus ZP okay so we'll be assuming this as ZP and this as ZS and V naught will be the input and VF will be the output maybe fine okay somehow we got that equation okay guys let us assume that okay so basically vf is in between zp and zs zp is zs is this zp is this and we need vf and v naught v naught will be the initial and vf will be the output okay that's fine yeah that's how this equation is completely designed so zp is nothing but these two parallel so this parallel this resistance will be r2 and this is c2 this is r1 this is c1 Okay guys, I hope now everyone is clear with this diagram. So these two are parallel. So R2 into C2 by R2 plus C2. Nothing but C2 is nothing but 1 by JWC2. I hope everyone knows that formula. That's really important guys. Okay, so, so somehow we got ZP that is Z in parallel and series is nothing but adding them. That's it. We will be getting fine. So now just send this that side. So we are gonna get VF by V0. Okay. ZP, ZS, ZP. Substitute the values, guys. Now the game starts. We substituted the values. So we got a equation like this. So now let us assume R is equals to R2 is equals to R. C is equals to C. C1 is equals to C2 is equals to C. 
so after substituting it we got something like this so after some many many calculations cancellations we got an equation like this so we got beta is equals to something right so at the end we squared this guys we applied a plus b whole square for this so we got the final solution something like this so as we know that a beta is equals to 1 guys mod a beta should be equals to 1 so this is beta so multiplying it with a for this we will be multiplying it with a that is equals to 1 so a into this is equals to 1 so now we got a, an equation like this right so now compare the things guys because there are many things similar this thing and this thing is appe appearing in appearance this is, seems to be a bit similar right okay so if you see okay just a second guys if you see j w c here we are having j w r c only r is extra okay i think i have wrote this wrong maybe okay yeah i have just written it wrong so j w c r is also there i have just missed it i need you need to be careful guys because those things matters so now if you observe cleanly this is completely matching with this okay so writing the imaginary part on one side and the real part on the other side. So we're going to get an equation like this. So making imaginary equals to 0, we're going to get the value of a is equals to 3. And making real part equals to 0, w square, c square, r square is equals to 1, w is equals to 1 by cr, f is equals to 1 by 2 pi cr. So this is the whole proof of Wien bridge oscillator guys. So now I hope everyone got a small idea or a depth idea on Winbridge oscillator in the next tutorial we will be going through crystal oscillator guys guys for this Winbridge if possible I will be putting some extra notes guys so that there is no theory where I have written here guys I have just wrote three points that's it so I will be trying to put a photo I will be sharing it in community guys YouTube community tab so that you gonna get a I think you will not get any notification but once you go in my channel and if you go in community, you'll be finding the latest messages. Okay, I'll be uploading there or in my website. Okay, guys, I hope everyone is now clear with this topic. So in the next video, we'll be going through crystal oscillator. Thank you. Thanks for watching.